everyone. Welcome back to another session of the Little Bookworm Club. Remember the story about Skippy John Jones? Well, guess what? Today we're going to read another adventure that he had. This time, it's Skippy John Jones and the Big Boats. So let's begin. Skippy John Jones was crazy about digging in Mrs. Dolly Doohiggy's garden. Because that's where Mrs. Dolly Doohiggy's doll, Darwin, buried all his bones. And nobody messed with Darwin. Two yards away, Mama Junebug Jones was hanging wash when her kitty boy blew through the streets like a muddy wind. Hey, Mr. Pickle Pants, hollered Mama. Don't run with your mouth full. But Pickle Pants had only one thing on his mind. dinosaurs. I'm going to be a famous plantologist, whispered Skippy John Jones, arriving at his room. Then he popped a pickle in his puss. He slapped some glue all over his newfound bone and stuck it onto his model. And you are going to be my Skipposaurus, he added out loud. Skipposaurus, declared Mama Junebug Jones, coming into the room. Those bones belong to Darwin, and you better take them back, for your prehistoric fossil is that snoozing doggy snack. And do it now, ordered Mama, before he wakes up. But the kitty boy had no intention of returning Darwin's bones before he bounced on his big boy bed. First he pounced and wiggled, then he bounced and giggled. All the way up to the ceiling, he chanted, Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, because I love to eat pickles that tickle on my head. He then flung himself over to the mirror for a head check. Holy hairballs, exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling out a tape measure. That's one huge cabezal off. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he added, my ears are too big for my head, and my head won't fit in my bed. I know I'm not a Siamese cat. I am a chinchilla. And quicker than you could say chunky chinchillas and ice cream, the kitty boy picked up his cape and pulled on his mask. Then he began to sing in a more soft voice. Oh, my name is Skippy for Sisto, and I hunt for the Donosorito with giganto ears that's been buried for years under the layers of cemento. At the same time, the kitty boy sisters, Jujube, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jooms, were in Mrs. Doohiggy's yard watching Darwin sleep. This is fun, said Jezebel. Lots of fun, agreed Jilly Boo. The most is fun, added Jujube. But Skippy John wasn't thinking about Darwin. He was thinking about dinosaurs, and he knew where to find them, deep within his closet. Whoa, said Skippy Toe, it's a jungle in here. But as soon as he stepped over the threshold, his sniffery toe picked up the scent of his old amigos, lost chimichangles. Stinker toes, called out Skippy John Jones. I smell you, but I don't see you. It is I, El Skippy Toe for Sisto, the great sword fighter. Up here, Skippy Toe, hollered the chinchillas. We are toasting lost marshmallows, prehistoricals. Not the prehistoric marshmallows, exclaimed Skippy Toe. See, dude, explained the donkeys, but they are as bad as rock eyes. That's because they're fossitos, said Skippy Toe. Fossitos, schmossitos, declared Port Creo Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We want to see Los Donosauros with our own ojoles, he said, pointing to his eyes. Por qué? asked Skippy Toe. Because, Bobby, so, said Bob Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. We hear they're really, really big, dude. This news made the chinchillas go insane around the rim of the volcano, singing, Ding-a-ling, ding-a-ling-toe, 
You are such a skilly, skippy doe. You know what dogs think. If it's good, it must stink. Plus, it's great for the old Cipperito. <laughs> but right in the middle of their rock, Mount Ichi Gichi Goomba blew its top, tossing the doggies right on their rumpitos. But a bump on the rump would become the least of their worries. Because boom, 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 the earth began to tremble and shake. Terremoto! shouted Puerto Rito Tito, panic stricken. It's not an earthquake, Ito, said Skipito, kicking through the bushes. It's a Team Mexito! Hmm. And he wasn't the only dinosaur. There were big ones and small ones, feathered and bald ones. Some were spiky and frilled with a look that could kill. And they were all doing the same thing. They were dancing. Ay, caramba, it's the rumba, cheered the Jungles. And before Skipito could warn them, the Rasquitos had shimmed and shook their way into the dance line. This is loco, wheel Skipito. You will be crushed like Crispitos under the dino's toes, Titos. But the puppy toes did not hear. They were too busy singing. Itchy, itchy, goomba, dinos do the roomba with jumbo jaws and big giant claws with horns and beaks and scaly peaks. Itchy, gitchy, goomba, Jimmy Chungles do the roomba with great big hearts and tiny parts with nobby knees and lots of fleas. Itchy, gitchy, goomba. But something had to be done to save them. And quicker before you could say, fancy flowers, skip it all, let out a big Jurassical bark. <laughs> Holy hostarolis, rolled Team Mexico. I smell the pickle breath of a Skipposaurus, though. I am not a Skipposaurus, declared Skipito, whipping off his mask. I'm a chinchilla. Not the pillow-fighting, ankle-biting, pickle-dripping, dino-tripping chinchilla they call Il Skipito Francisco, the great sword-fighter, shrieked Team Mexico. Oh, see, si, that is me, said Skipito with a bow. Then quicker before you could say Don Diego's dynamos, ever di every dinosaur stopped, dropped, and rolled away. Where's the fool go, dudes, said Pocorito Tito. There's no fire, said Skipito. They're just going extincto. Muy bien, oh Skipito. We love the Stinkito, agreed the chinchillas, and they tossed him in the air. Diggory, 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 too. We learned something new from Skipito. He scares them to death with his old pickle breath, and that's how we get fossilitos. Then all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. The earth began to tremble and shake. Every head popped up and sniffed. Dinosaurios, whispered the Puritos. No, the Skipito. They're all extinto. See, si, said the chinchillas. It's more stinkito. But it wasn't the dinosaurs they smelled. It was Darwin, and he was knock, knock, knocking on Skippy's closet door. Then click, the door opened, and out tumbled the kitty boy on an avalanche of old dog bones. The next thing he knew, the kitty boy was waking up on the couch. What happened, said Skippy John. Don't you remember, Sugar Eat, us Mama June Bug Jones? You decided to return Darwin's dog bones. All of them, us Skippy. That's right, Dumplin, said Mama proudly. <laughs> That very same night, the kitty boy found Mr. Perfect still sitting in the corner, all covered in bones. My Skipposaurus, he whispered. Then he dragged the cat over to his big boy bed for a good night bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I'm not a dog fighter, but I still have some bones, because I'm the decider. Then he decided to go to sleep. The end. 
So that was another adventure of Skippy John Jones. Tune in next time to hear another story. Well, till then, everyone. Goodbye!